four months have passed since the idea was first conceived. Now it's time for Lemken to take a decision. Gottfried Giesen presents the self-propelled concept to the management and heads of departments. Franz Georg von Busse wants to know about the machine's potential market. Heinrich Wingels explains that an investigation was carried out which showed that there are 500,000 hectares of arable land in western Germany, 10% of which is probably cultivated by contractors. Adding this figure to that in other western European markets and the large-scale enterprises in eastern Europe provides a good basis to justify serious production of the machine. The question is whether there's sufficient space in the Lemkin factory to build the prototype and subsequent units in full production. Such a self-propelled machine is a lot bigger than anything Lemkin has built before. Lemkin engineers calculate the required manufacturing area for the machine to be 20 by 20 meters. The plan is to clear the required space temporarily in the Lemkin factory, have the series production parts supplied by the firm's existing production facilities, then assemble the machine in that area. The project is budgeted for completion in 2003. And having discussed the technology, the budget and the target group, the Lemken directors, including Victor and Nicola Lemken, the company's management and staff, agree to go ahead and build the prototype. Six months on, we're in Holland again, where Agchem has been commissioned to build the base machine in cooperation with Lemken, who will design the key elements for the rear end of the machine. A great deal of further design work is required before full construction of the machine can begin. The outfit's articulated joint uses two big bearings and then there's a cardan shaft coming from below to power the big Zoidberg gearbox which is used to drive the power harrows. The axles are driven hydrostatically, so the engineers need to ensure there's enough clearance to fit the required motors. High capacity units are to be used, flanged directly onto each axle. 